Hi, everybody. My name is Steve Hullfish. I'm the author of Avid Uncut and the upcoming book, Art of the Cut. I'm also a feature film editor. I'm actually on location right now editing with Media Composer and an Avid Nexus Pro. The Nexus Pro was set up in a trailer on the set for a while, and now I'm editing from my apartment near set with multiple Media Composer systems set up so I can be editing while the other systems are handling assistant editor work and things like ingest and transcoding. Since the system doesn't require a lot of IT or infrastructure, I was able to handle moving it from place to place and set up myself, and I'm not a technical guy. Now this video is about a new partner for Avid called Axel. Axel is a very cool media management workflow company that has really created a powerful and simple new system that is currently being shipped with Nexus systems. The system that you get included with Nexus is called Axel Starter. You can upgrade or purchase their bigger, more robust, and full-featured systems, but I'm really impressed with what this one can do. Here's the way it works. Let's say you want a client or a producer or an assistant to have remote access to the media inside your Nexus, or actually on any drive, to be able to view files, manage them, add metadata to them, and communicate with you about that footage. That would be pretty cool, right? That's what Axel Starter does. People can even use a smartphone or an iPad to be able to screen proxies of the media on your Nexus and add metadata to the proxies. The more powerful versions of Axel even allow you to do downloads and uploads of media over the system from remote locations. All of this client-side interaction is done through a simple browser interface. Now, these remote users do not have direct access to the media on the Nexus. They're looking at proxies on the Axel server, so your original media is safe. We're going to focus on Nexus in this video, but Axel can catalog and provide previews of all kinds of media, random photos, video, audio. It's got a very simple UI. It allows you to completely customize metadata, whatever you want however you want to have something be searchable. And once that metadata is in, your users can search that media basically as if you were using Google on the Internet, a very flexible and powerful elastic search capability that gives both a quick, simple search or a very detailed, complex set of search parameters. Basically, Axel indexes a media file location like the workspaces in Nexus, and turns them into searchable catalogs that you can navigate through a web browser. There's no client-side software. So how does this work? Well, first you need a quad-core Mac with at least 8 gigs of RAM and Yosemite or better as the OS. This is great because you've probably upgraded one of your old editing systems and you might have one of these old cheese grater Macs lying around anyway. If not, you can pick them up pretty cheap. Axel will even run on a Mac Mini. This will be your Axel server. You really don't want anything else being done on this Axel server. The Axel server needs to be connected to your Nexus and also to the Internet so it can connect to outside users. It's best if this is a hardware connection instead of Wi-Fi. The software you need is on this cute little USB thumb drive from Axel. Just pop it on the computer you want to use as a server. You'll have to download and run Java from Oracle's website first, just on the server. Then run the installer for Axel. It'll require a restart. When you reboot, there will be a little A logo on your desktop. Double-click that, and on your initial install, it'll ask you to create a username and a password, and it'll provide you with the MAC address of your computer, which you use to send to Axel to get the individualized license for your system. You'll also be prompted to enter the path to the drive you want to start using as your first catalog. Being in Safari is helpful because it allows you to drag and drop locations from the finder into the text window for the file path name to automatically enter it. Power users can also get the path name from Terminal, but that's a little bit above my pay grade. As I said, I'm not that technical. Once you've created your first catalog, and by catalog, think drive location. A catalog can be made from any folder or any drive, and it allows you to see and manage and have access to all of the media at that location. Anyway, once it's created, once you've pointed to the location, Axel immediately begins cataloging the footage and media at that location. 
This will start populating immediately, but it will take a while. For video, it's creating scrubbable H.264 proxies of every piece of media. This is one of the reasons you want the computer doing this to be doing little else but Axel. When the proxies are made, you can access them from the server computer or any computer or even a smartphone that has a web browser. Just enter the IP address of the server and backslash Axel Web into a browser and you'll connect. Then enter the username and password and you'll be seeing the contents of a volume, nexus, or folder anywhere with the ability to approve shots, comment on them, and add metadata. Another really cool thing is that even people without access to Axel can easily see files by sending them an email link that connects straight to the Axel server. So you don't have to upload videos to Dropbox or Vimeo or YouTube for clients to look at shots. The link looks just like the Axel interface and there's no exporting or converting or uploading necessary. To me, that's killer. Another feature I really like is the archiving abilities. Right from the Axel UI, you can archive specific shots or entire groups of shots to a predetermined location, another drive, an LTO backup, the cloud, whatever, and then delete the local media. But Axel will still maintain the proxies and metadata as if it was live, giving you this little icon to show that it's really offline. And then with the click of a button, you can restore that media back because Axel remembers where it was stored and brings the file back. Some of this remote access stuff made me a little bit nervous, but there are clear settings that allow the administrator to limit user access to specific functions so your media is always safe. In today's media environment, small shops have to compete with the big boys and try to get more done with less. Nexus and Axel are a great step in that direction, delivering high-end functionality for a small shop price. I never thought Nexus would be a solution that my company could use, but it's really affordable, and with a wealth of functions it's delivered, I can't imagine life without it.